Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 12th of 2022. Well, it is titled Find the Man in the Moon. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of our moon and in this case, the full moon here off over in the distance, uh, very close to the horizon. Now we can sometimes see a picture of a man in the moon there. And in this case, we actually have two. First of all, if you look silhouetted against it, you can see an observer there you, with a telescope off in the distance silhouetted against the lower portion of the moon. Now can we see the actual man in the moon there that is uh, known classically and you can actually outline it here with the two eyes above and then the mouth below and we can label that here to kind of help you see that and we can see the two eyes a nose and a mouth showing the man in the moon. And of course, depending on how the moon is oriented, some people can actually see other things. And you can use the links in the description at the website to see, for example, where you might see the woman in the moon or the rabbit in the moon as a couple of other examples that you can see within this. Now, this is all part of our mind really playing tricks on us. There is no image of a man in the moon or a woman or a rabbit. But our minds don't like the random patterns that we see on the surface of our moon. So what do we do? We try to put order to the randomness. And that allows us to see patterns where in reality, there are no specific patterns that exist. And once people see it and start to point it out, then others can often see it too. Because we want to see some kind of order to the randomness that we see here. We often do this with clouds, seeing patterns in clouds. And we look at it here in astronomy with looking at various nebulae. We often see patterns within them. And we talk about things like the Horsehead Nebula or, or other nebulae that we see. And do they somewhat look like that? Well, yeah, some of them will have more or less of a resemblance to the figure. But in general, it is just a random collection that happens to look something like that pattern. So our minds put that image there. And then once we start to see it, it's one of those things that is hard to unsee once you have actually seen the object there. So if you use the examples to look at the man in the moon as shown here, or to look at the woman or the rabbit in the moon, once you see them, especially depending on how things are oriented, it can be very hard to not see them when you look at the thing again. So that was our picture of the day for June 12th of 2022. It was titled Find the Man in the Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be a whirlpool of stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.